American Top 40. Bobby Darren was a versatile performer. He did a lot of things well. He sang, he danced, and he played several instruments. His first hit single in 1958, he wrote as a gag in 12 minutes. In a few weeks, it was a number three smash. Splish, splash, I was taking the bell. Hey, From 1958, that was Splish, Splash by Bobby Darren, his first hit. A year later, he hit number two with a different sound. A love song in the style of the day. It was called Dream Lover. I'm gonna sleep and dream again. From 1959, Dream Lover by the late Bobby Darren. Number 16 among the top rock and roll acts of the 1950s. Casey's Coast to Coast. This is Casey on AT40 in Hollywood. A couple of months ago, I told you that the only recording act ever to have two hits in the top 40 at the same time under two different names was the Four Seasons. Well, I want to thank George Lippold in the Bronx, New York for finding another. A solo act. And the only solo artist to ever do that. He was one of the biggest singing stars of the rock and roll era and was famous for his brash self-confidence. I'm talking about the late Bobby Darren. Now here's how that happened. In 1958, Bobby was a newcomer to the business, struggling to get his first hit song. He recorded a few singles for Atco Records, but none of them had hit and Bobby was worried that the company was going to drop him. So, to give himself a safety net, Bobby Darren secretly recorded another song and sold it to another label, Brunswick Records. So, in case Atco dropped him, he'd have some place to go. And to keep Atco from finding out, he used the pseudonym, The Rinky Dinks. Here's a piece of that record. Well, you gonna miss me early in the morning One of these days Well, that song, Early in the Morning, by Bobby Darren, billed as the Rinky Dinks on the Brunswick label, began to sell. Then Atco Records, which still held Darren's contract, found out about it. But instead of getting mad at Bobby, they bought the rights from Brunswick and re-released the song on their own label. It went to number 24. It made the top 40 while Bobby's current release under his own name was also in the 40. And that record? Splish Splash. It hit number 3. And that's how Bobby Darren became the only solo act in history to have two hits in the top 40 at the same time under two different names. And the countdown continues on American Top 40. Number three.